In simple terms, I'm trying to come up with better methods to solve the oil spill problem. When you have an oil spill, what you have is a, a slick of oil and you don't want it on the top of water because then the birds can get caught on it and uh, it can come to the shore. So what, what you do is you spray chemicals that actually disperse the oil or break this big slick of oil into smaller droplets and entrains it in, into the water column where they are eaten by the bacteria that was present in the ocean. But the problem is these, these chemicals that you use don't, uh, you know, they don't prevent the droplets from coming together. Eventually what happens is these smaller droplets collide with each other, they become bigger droplets and they come back to the surface. Mm -hmm. And so you have to put in more dispersants. So what we, what we did was we came up with these cool chemicals that are derived from crab shells. We in New Orleans are famous for our seafood and we have a lot of crab shells and uh, uh, you know shellfish uh, lying around. And what we do is we put these hooks, or what we call the biopolymer hooks, on these uh, polymer chains. And uh, we, we, we say that when you, when, you, when you have these smaller droplets, you can add these biopolymers and that will wrap the droplet and prevent them from coming together and colliding and coming back up. So you don't have to dump in more chemicals, rather you're giving back, giving back to the ocean. You're taking something from the ocean and giving it back. We found that we can, we can reduce the use of surfactant by five, five times. And so this, since these are, these, these are uh, derived from the natural uh, products, uh, they, uh, the microbes can easily you know, form colonies around it and eat, eat the oil up sooner.